okay greater or equal than 400 so you have to follow this formula 2 to the power of number of whole speeds should be larger than 400 now here what should be my number of whole speeds 2 if I put to the power of 8 it gives me 256 here if I put uh, 8 uh, sorry 9 it gives me 512 addresses so if I write 2 to the power of 9 the result of this is uh, 512 which is greater than 400 so as a result as a result your number number of host bits will be 9 so number of host bits is 9 what does this mean it means number of zeros in subnet mask is 9 so number of zeros in subnet mask is 9 meaning the rest are ones now I can find out what is my subnet mask I just have to count nine zeros here it is one two three four five six seven eight uh, put dot and then after that here is nine then after that I've got just all ones one two three four five six seven here is I'm just writing from the other side eh? this is a bit difficult one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five six seven eight dot i just remove this dot okay here are your nine zeros remember always you start from this side you count from right side so you count nine zeros and then after that the rest you put ones if you convert this number to decimal the number the the, uh, the subnet mask that you will get will be 255.255.254.0 so this is the appropriate subnet mask for you uh, to cover 400 addresses that you have now the address that can be from class A or it can be from class B or you can do supernetting and uh, use class C but forget about supernetting now so that's how I can find out the appropriate subnet mask uh, by using uh, the number of host bits, number of network bits, and number of subnets. So here, number of network as uh, host bits is zero. Now, what is the number of sub network bits, and what is the number of subnets, subnet bits? So for that purpose, I need to have the IP address. For example, if my IP address is this one, 150.100.10.2, then this address is an address from class b right it's between 128 to 191 so it's class b if i have this ad address for class b number of network bits is 16 right number of host bits we got it here it's 9 the remaining will be number of subnet bits here is 7 so 2 to the power of 7 which is 2 to the power of number of subnet bits will give you the number of subnets that you have here you will get uh, 128 uh, different subnets so if I use this subnet mask I'll get 128 subnets uh, okay so here is the answer and again I've got the whole solution for you now the next concept that I'm going to talk about is network address so far we've talked about the addresses IP addresses and uh, the address the network address which is assigned to a company or organization like the one that you saw here the network of AT I told you this part is assigned to our, uh, an organization and the rest of that is host speed okay what does that mean what does this mean this is assigned to our organization so uh, how can I find out if they have given an IP address which part of that address is assigned to my organization because this was easy for class A you might get different addresses that you might need to find out the network address meaning the address that is assigned to your organization 
For that purpose, I have uh, one example. Look at this address. I'm going to see what is a network address. Before talking about network address, look at this address. This is the address of a uh, Cisco company. It's in USA, California. If I give you this address and I ask you uh, what is the area code or what is the zip code of this, this address, which part of this address has the zip code, uh, definitely you all will tell me this is the zip code or the area code. Now, what is the area code? 95134. Area code means if you have an area and you have many houses or offices, let me make it small, uh, you have, here are the houses. If you have, you have one area and you have, why can't I copy this? Copy, here it is. Uh, imagine that these are houses and companies or whatever in this area and this is the area number right now area number means we have one area and all these houses are in this area have this area number so for example this one can be an address of for example this place in this area right so when you look at this address you say that this is the area code or area address now this is pretty easy area code and area address we have the same concept in uh, sorry uh, area code and uh, the whole address and area uh, code is inside the address we have the same concept in a network imagine that this is a network and these are all computers and each computer has gone one address here it is is my network and I've got so many computers here at different devices. So, uh, for example, this one has 192.168.1.1 as at its address. Then this one has the 2, 192.168.1.2. .1 this one has 1.3. And this one has 1.4. Now, these are all the addresses that I have in my network. So, here is my network, it's my area, right? Now, if I ask you, if I tell you, this is the address of this computer, and this is the address of this computer, and I ask you, what is uh, the network address or area address of this network? Can you tell me what that is? If you look at this address in uh, previous slide that I had, if you look at this address, it's pretty easy. You just look at this, you find out this five-digit number, and you tell me, yeah, this is the area code. But how can I do that when they give me an IP address? How can I find out the network address of that IP address? The network address is also uh, similar to this area address. Area address is inside this, the whole address. Network address is also inside this address. But it's not that easy like this one that I look at the address and say, oh, this is the network address. Uh, but calculation of that is pretty easy. So my question was, how can I find it? To find out the network address, you need to have the subnet mask. Let's say I have this IP address, 150.100.10.2. And this is my subnet mask. And I'm going to find the network address or subnet address of my network, meaning the area address of my network. To find that one, you have to convert your IP address to binary. So 150.100.10.2 is converted to binary. And then after that, convert your subnet mask to binary as well. So you see that here? This is my subnet mask, and subnet mask is also converted to binary. Write the subnet mask, the binary version of the subnet mask, exactly below the IP address that you have. So our goal, here is the IP address. Find out the network address of this IP address. To do that, I write these two below each other, and I use AND, Boolean AND 
operator on these two. Uh, just to refresh your mind, what is Boolean AND? Here, is, I've got, here, here I've got a truth table for Boolean AND. You see that here, if I have two variables, A and B, and if I want to find out the AND of A and B, Boolean AND of A and B, the result of that, if a variable A has the value of that is 1, and variable B, the value of that is 1, the result of ending of these two will be 1. If 1 is 1, the other one is 0, the result will be 0. If 1 is 0, the other one is 1, the result is 0. And if both are 0, the result again will be 0. So you see that the result of Boolean AND will be 1 whenever you, or wherever you have 1 on both sides. And if there is 1, 0 in one side, it doesn't matter what you have on the other side. The result will always be 0. So let's find out what is the result of ending of these two. Here I've got 1 and 1. The result will be 1 according to this table. 0 and 1, the result will be 0. 0, 1, result will be 0. 1, 1, the result is 1. 0, 1, the result will be 0. Then after that, I have 1, 1, result is 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0 and 1, 0, dot, do the same thing, you've got 0 and 1, 0, we get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, dot, then we have all zeros here, so it doesn't matter what we have on the other side, the result will be 0, so we've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, dot, the same thing for the last octet. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So to find out the network address, which is the address of the whole network, uh, you have to get one IP address and write it in binary. Then uh, write down the subnet mask in binary below the IP address and these two. And the result of this end will be your network address. Now here I've got the network address. If I convert this to decimal, I'll get 150.100.0.0. So this will be your network address. Now this address is something similar to the address that I have here. Look, this is the address, area address, the address of the whole area. I have network address which is here. This is my network address. This is the address of the whole network that I have. Now, one question. If someone asks you, what is your address and you're living in this area? What is your address? And you tell them, my address is 95134. And your friend wants to write an envelope to you, a, a letter to you, and put it in an envelope and send it to you. If you write, if he send a letter to you and he puts this address, will you receive that letter? Definitely not. Because the letter comes, at best, that letter comes to the post office of this area. Then after that, they don't know where to send it. Because this is not your address. This is the address, uh, this is the area that you're living in. So this is part of your address, not your address. The same thing happens to a network address. If I want to assign this address to one I, to a computer or to a client. It's impossible. It means that computer will never receive a packet because you have given the address of the whole area. So the packet will not come to that particular computer. If you want to send a packet to that particular computer, you have to assign one valid IP address, not the network address. So this is my network address.